Hi, I'm Nicholas Glutz, the white guy on the left in this photograph. I am Anita Matigizela, the black girl on the at the back there towards the right. And I'm Lisa Van Penica, I'm the color girl in the middle. We are part of Group 509 and we did the Limpopo Mosquito Nets project. Our team of 12, headed by Professor W. Fokker, Director, Institute of Applied Materials, and Mtoko Sibanda, PhD and Chemical Engineering student, embarked on an exciting trip to Venda, Limpopo, on the 2nd of October. The purpose of our journey was to begin the first trial installation of innovative mosquito nets in houses and huts in different villages. These nets were engineered to serve as an alternative to spray-on insecticides which contain DDT or dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane. DDT is an organochlorine insecticide which is a white crystalline solid. It's tasteless and it's almost odorless. DDT is harmful as it is classified as moderately toxic and is not easily degradable. It attaches itself onto animals' fat cells and they cannot break it down. On arriving to Vendor, we experienced a great culture shock. The communities in Venda are very self-efficient and we noticed many fruit plantations as well as trees with cut branches, probably used for firewood. There was a surprising lack of fencing and security gates and an even more surprising variation in infrastructure. It is not uncommon to find a grand mansion amongst much humbler huts in a village. Even the villagers themselves were not isolated from each other and we felt a clear sense of unity amongst the people. The work itself was also new for most of us. The installation of the nets involved three stages and we split into numerous teams in order to decrease installation time. The first stage involved drilling holes in the walls and installing wooden planks with fissure plugs. The main obstacles faced in this task were the hollow patches which were encountered while drilling and also corners and houses which required swarm of small pieces of plank. Doors, windows, and curtain rails also proved to bring about difficulty at times. The second stage involved taping up self-adhesive industrial male velcro onto the planks. This was the quickest and easiest part. The third and final stage involved attaching the nets using female velcro. The nets were, were laced with an insecticide which causes you to itch when continuously handled and therefore gloves had to be used during this stage. Once the nets were attached, they were neatly trimmed and secured with staples and the owner of the hut or house was asked if they were happy with the installation. The nets were color coded and out of the 40 which were to be installed, a select few were placebos to see whether the nets actually work or people just think they work. So this was essentially done to test the nets effectiveness. 40 installations were done to create a meaningful sample size for statistical purposes. Installing the nets was not all we had accomplished on the trip. Due to a death in the community, we were unable to install nets in the houses on the second day, and therefore used this lost time to volunteer at a local orphanage called Mpego Child Resource Centre. The orphanage is an NGO which takes care of children who are vulnerable due to various circumstances. Our endurance was put to test as we tended, weeded and ploughed their vegetable garden in temperatures reaching up to 38 degrees Celsius so that it was ready for them to plant new vegetables. We also got to do some sightseeing that day and learnt a bit of vendor from the locals who are all extremely friendly. They taught us how to say good morning which is macheron and then the way that you reply to that is macheron awuti. And then to say thank you is Ntoriawu. By the end of the four day trip, we were exhausted and happy to be heading home, especially to be away from long drop toilets and relentless mosquitoes, but knew that we would be talking about this experience for a very long time. We are grateful to have been afforded this opportunity to grow, learn, and step outside of our comfort zones. We are happy to have made even the smallest difference in the community and suggest to anybody interested in assisting in future trials not to hesitate for even a second. That's it guys. That, 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 that's the end. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.